What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's video. We have an awesome video up for you guys. We're going to be checking out the greatest, the, the greatest, the greatest female race driver of all time. Now, I, I saw somebody mention, I don't know if this is the exact driver, but I was watching a rally car video and they were mentioning how rally car is for men. And then somebody commented saying that rally car is for men and such and such female driver now i hope that this is the female driver first of all i want to give a shout out to the person that suggested this video so let's see let's see i told you guys i was going to be giving you guys credit shout out to at r3 uvs gaming shout out to r3 uvs gaming for suggesting this video i hope that it's really awesome and um if you guys have what well, you guys have videos you want me to watch make sure you put it in the comment section and add the link too because some of them i'd be having to search on youtube and i'd be worried that i don't like I'm worried that I'm not going to pick the right one. So make sure you guys add the link in the comment. Um, but other than that, if you guys want to watch the original video, shout out to Josh Ravel. If you guys want to watch the original video and, uh, you know, fully support this YouTuber, I'm going to be putting the like the link to the original video in the com I mean, in the description so you guys can check out the full video without me stopping or pausing or commentary or anything like that. Make sure you guys go sh support the original creator. Thank you so much for making this video. Um, but other than that, I'm super excited, man. I'm super excited to check this thing out. Um, let's get into this thing. The greatest female racing driver of all time. Let's go. Let me start this video off, if I may, with let's Carmen go. Yorda. Carmen Yorda. Bear with me, please. For those of you unaware, was a racing driver who competed in right, the series. Let's put this up a little bit. And GP3 in the 2010s. Formula 3. She was also signed to the Lotus Formula 1 team as a development driver from 2015 to 2016. Okay, okay, okay. To the untrained eye of the average earthling, this would be considered a fantastic feat and a key step forward to helping get female drivers back onto the Formula 1 Okay, group. okay. But it wasn't is it bad? That is it bad that the only female driver I know is Danica Patrick? Is that bad let me know if that's bad and let me know who else i should be checking out because that's really all like i don't really know racing too much that's the only one that i know Wait, i'll explain this in another video because i'm right, let's see. Go off on a tangent here trying to let's see let's see was all about but the point is that in 2015 you're the voice her approval of a separate championship for women and this is okay what she said it's not fair that women have to compete in the same championship as men because we're never going to become world champions. And I don't mm. think we deserve that. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, Carmen, you don't think women are, we are thinking? competitive on the main stage, huh? Well, what are we well, thinking, I'd guys? I'd like to introduce you to Michel Mouton. Mouton. Oh, Michel, Michel Mouton. Mouton. Is a former rally driver from France who competed in the World Rally oh, Championship from shoot, 1974 okay. to 1986. She was lauded by the likes of Sir Sterling Moss and Nicky Lauda, two of the most respected people in motor racing. Ooh. Full stop. And it's not without reason, because Mouton was incredible. Oh, so she was a badass with the drifts. Michelle Mouton, the greatest female racing driver of all time. All right, hey, I'm excited. I'm excited. This one seems interesting. This one seems interesting. Mouton was born in Grasse, France in 1951. She was okay. first introduced to the concept Bonjour. of racing cars at 14 years old. Although her first oh, so she was driving since Australian young. came in 1973, not as a driver, but as a co-driver. It was then her father oh, who suggested okay. that maybe she should get behind the wheel of a car. So the co drivers the people saying, right, years, right? 50 seconds, left 50 seconds. throughout France in 1973, Mouton made a World Rally Championship debut in 1974, finishing 12th on the Tour de Corse. Naturally, okay. men throughout the paddock could not cope with the concept of a woman beating them in a car. <laughs> yeah, they lost. Rumors abound Mouton was running an illegal engine, but sure enough, it was perfectly illegal. Legal. She was later crowned the French champion and European wow. ladies champion. And by now, some of you anoraks will be saying, oh, she's not a racing driver she's a rally driver well rally. to answer that criticism mouton competed in the 24 hour of le mans in the two liter prototype category with christine dacramont and marion uh, 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 forming Hopener. an all-female lineup in 1975 and you can curb your prejudices because they won their class mouton's Damn. performances in the rain were dude those headlights are huge happened, yet look at this car are those lights or is that like painted or like what is going on here? Did not to pursue a career on the closed circuit. Nonetheless, her results attracted attention from the likes of Elf and Fiat France. Fiat she France. achieved a moderate level of success with Fiat on the world stage okay. from 1977 to 1979. Okay, okay, okay. However, in 1980, Audi Sports signed her to the WRC program for the 1981 season. Oh, so she was now, killing it, man. She's getting imagine, sponsorships and everything. There was a fair amount of criticism with regards to her signing. This coupled with her co-driver being Fabrizia Pons, some of the comments being thrown around almost eradicated any faith 
fact one would have had in hmm. humanity. But this all changed at Rally Portugal. So people were talking trash because it was a girl. And finished fourth overall, despite experiencing electrical gremlins throughout wow. the rally. She also performed strongly in Greece and in Finland. But the real breakthrough came in San Remo. 1981 San Remo. World Rally Champion Ari Vatanen proclaimed, Never can, nor will I lose to a woman. Well, guess what? Famous last words, buddy. Famous last words. Damn, that's clean. Okay, 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 okay. Mouton and Pons took their first rally win, beating out their male rivals and shutting up the critics. First place? I heard them, because trust me, I know. And it was the highlight of what was a decent first year wow. in the top flight of rallying. And certainly when you consider that she was a Damn, shut him up too. of the rally scene. That's including crazy. Stig Blomqvist, Ari Vatanen, Henry Toivonen, and Hanno Mikula. Of Mikula. course, she didn't contest the full season, but her first full season came in 1982, and this would be the year when Mouton would really make her presence felt. The first round was at the Damn, renowned Monte Carlo rally. Mouton she got was locked in. as well as you would imagine, and it set the Carlo. fastest time in the call to Torini stage. But then, on the 12th stage, she Oof. slid off the road and out of the rally. The crash concussed Pons, while Mouton injured her Wait. knee. But this Guys, I got a question. If, you, if a racer... If a race car driver crashes the car, can they use another one, or are they just, like, eliminated from the race? Like, so, like so, he, was saying, he was saying that she was on the 12th stage so does that mean that like for the say if there's a 13th stage i mean i don't know how many stages there are but if she wasn't a 13th stage could she use a different car or or like do they use the same car throughout the entire like every single stage I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. from making her debut in the Swedish rally. She was running third and performing well before crashing into Hanno Mikola's grief-stricken car and eventually finished the rally in fifth place. These fifth two place. rallies didn't really curb theories that Mouton was perhaps unable to cut it with the big boys. Mm -hmm. But she put third and fifth is good though. At the next round in Portugal. Mouton took 18 stage wins and would win the rally outright, 18? which immediately bolstered her up to second Damn. place in the standings, just behind 1980 world champion Volta Roy. She would miss the safari rally, but would make her return at the Tour de Course in France. However, she wasn't able to Tour match the course. pace of the front runners and finished in seventh place. But crucial, bro, bro, these are all, all top ten finishes. Like this is really either. good. Then came Greece. These stages are known to be real car breakers. Oof. Pace is one thing in this rally. Getting it to the finish is another deal. Rawl had won the rally twice previously, but he didn't win this one. Oh, damn! Another first place finish on the hardest course too. Mouton took the win ahead of Rawl and Toivonen, and at that stage was the only driver to have won two rallies that season. In the overall standings, she closed the gap to Rawl to Yo. just 20 points. Even after missing the round in Kenya earlier Walter that year, Roll. and in the next round in New Zealand, Mouton was... Wait, how many countries did they do rally racing? Uh, it seems like they're all However, over the world. She retired due to a broken oil pump, and the win instead went to a 1969 world champion Bjorn Valdemar. I wonder how they decide the winners on this. I don't really get the point Roll, system but here. In the next round in Brazil, Let me know in the Mouton comments what the point Winning, like how does it work arduous rally she retired from the next round in finland after incurring damage from a jump and then finished second okay so Rino. okay so he says she retired when the Audi car messed up so the they African don't get a replacement in Kenya and Cote d'Ivoire but given how close Mouton was to roll in the standings they needed to attend the rally Cote d'Ivoire if they were to mm. have any realistic chance of winning the title there was something else too okay just before the rally started, Mouton received news that her father had just passed away from cancer back in oh, Nice. His man. last wish was that Mouton start the rally. And this clearly gave wow. Mouton some drive because by the end of the first day, she was eight minutes ahead of Mikola and almost half an hour ahead of Rawl. And this was wow. crucial because if Mouton can win the rally, Rawl's man, win that's standings crazy. would be reduced to just two points. It's having a drive with that news, rounds. man. The temperatures of the rally were extreme, with the cabin temperature reaching 150 degrees Fahrenheit. What? Which is barely acceptable oh for people gosh. being cremated. However, Jesus while Christ. the drivers were feeling the pinch, the cars also were struggling to cope. Mouton began experiencing she was 150, mechanical issues. 150 degrees in there? That cost her 25 minutes and a complete fuel ingestion change on the last day. These issues gave Rawl oh and his Toyota goodness. comrades an opportunity to catch up. And then, disaster. Mouton rolled her quattro, which saw an end to her rally. Rawl cruised through oh, to take the win and that's the championship with man. Him. And he was happy about this, because earlier on, he stated that he would have been fine if he lost a championship to Mikola, but not to Mouton, saying that this is not because I doubt her capabilities as a driver, but because she is a woman. Yeah! <laughs> 
Yo, that's even worse. Yo, what kind of? Time, but still yet to prove himself as a human. Yo, that is crazy. Was the final round. Yo, it's not because she's good, but it's because she's a girl. Like, yo, that's crazy. Behind Mikola, and thus secured second overall in the drivers' standings, and also gave Audi their first manufacturer's world title. And despite losing to this Nobel Prize winner, Mouton was awarded the International Rally Driver of the Year award at the Autosport. Dude, what such bad luck to have a car break down. That Mouton had deserved her victories, and it was only through sheer luck that Rule had won the title. Facts, Mouton though. would compete in the WRC for a further four years, although her if last she didn't break down, it would have been rough for him. 1983. Constant mechanical failures marred her season, and eventually, man, who's, who's building these cars, man? In 1986, to focus on her family, she was made Knight of the Legion of Honor in 2011, which wow. is the highest French Order of Merit for civil rights, and was inducted into the Rally Hall of Fame by Carlos Sainz in 2012. She was also involved wow. in the FIA's Women and Motorsport Commission. Damn, so she's still got, she's still having a strong YouTube. impact. Kira Megan. Now, the Women in Motorsport Commission is the biggest movement from the FIA to endorse females in motorsports so far. It was created back in 2009 with Michelle Moulton, a former French rally driver and the oh, first wow. female to win a round of the FIA World Rally Championship as its president. Back in 2009, when the commission started, Michelle said, Women already have their place in motorsport. They have proved it. But for many years, people have asked me why there have been no women following in my footsteps. I really hope that the commission can help answer that question and that we can attract and support women. That's a good point. I mean, the only female hours. driver that I know but what is the Patrick. exactly? They say that it'd been so, made to put practice I'm not saying that and events into place that will strengthen it's anybody's fault, of women like, in all areas of motorsport and will work closely it's with not the really FIA well known, I guess. other governing bodies to promote females up into these motorsport categories. So far since its launch in 2009, they have proven what they said by in 2011 starting the support of the FIA CIK Trophy Academy. In 2015, ah, okay, they so they got these training groups for the kids. Program for rallycross, and probably the biggest movement so far was in 2018 and 2019 when they set up the FIA Girls on Track Challenge which was promoting young karting girls nice, 13 that's cool. to 18 up to F1 and also oh, they get a gold cards. to win a seat in the Ferrari Driver Academy in these years that's they also sick. created oh my God, they're going quick. Driver Academy meaning there is a place women can go to and be picked Yo, how fast in my view fast the 1982 from? World Rally Championship is one of the more crucial seasons in the whole history of motorsport because I it can demonstrated see. something important it went against the opinion of the time and more so than that it completely disproved what Carmen Yorda would say over 30 years later, women can't be competitive against men in motorsport? Bullshit, Carmen. Because as Michelle proved in 1982, they hey, can't. that's facts. So that's kind of facts. Her as one of the best. With the rally vibes. Call her a superwoman, and frankly, praise from those two is all you need as a racing driver, no matter what your background. And her achievements should be celebrated if we are to encourage the next generation of young female drivers to come through. And yeah, I didn't even know about her before. I didn't know anything about Thank her. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking this video. Awesome video from Josh. Awesome video. I feel very educated. I feel very up to date. The impact that she had on the racing world like I, I had no idea like there was nothing there was i never learned anything about it from michelle mouton and, and it sucks because she would have won that race easily if her car didn't fuck up so i want to know who was building the cars because they keep fucking it up like like there's no way that you have a, a driver as good as her and then you have the car breaking down like that's just inexcusable man that's inexcusable like there's no way that that should be happening there's no way that should be happening but um, I love this video. Thank you so much for requesting it. Shout out to Josh Revel. If you guys want to watch the video without me, uh, make sure you guys go support his channel. I'm sure he has a lot of more awesome videos on his channel. Um, if you guys enjoy video like this and you guys want me to watch videos like this, either suggest comments, suggest in the comment section down below and put the link to the video. And uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.